hello everyone welcome to the dset channel and in this video i'm going to talk about briefly about sensitivity analysis and how we can use this sensitivity analysis and growers and producers can change cultivars or varieties in order to maximize yield so the dset crop models basically take that source of genetic variability into account for each model the cultivars are characterized by a specific set of genetic coefficients so these coefficients basically express the genetic potential of each cultivar variety or hybrid independently of all environmental constraints soil weather and the other remaining factors so we uh, in this video i'm going to show you how you can do the soil sensitivity analysis here so let's talk about first how to create a new variety or cultivar in a dset well there is a not any tool dot already exist in the dset database with which help of which you can create a new cultivar you have to do it manually so you have to must have to create a new entry in the cultivar file so there is an automatic software so in this way how you can add this so you have to click on genetics let's say i'm going to change and make a new variety add a new variety for soya bean then we will click on legumes soya bean and we have to see this cultivar file here we're going to click here view file it will open in the notepad let me close the previous one sorry so these are the descriptions of the genetic coefficients let's say you want to copy the cultivar entry for the maturity group 7 where from where you can see the maturity group 7 this one here so let's say we are going to copy this one and we are going to paste it anywhere let's say make a new some space here and we are going to create it here so remember this the unique id should be different this is the unique id as you can see here this is your variety number or name so your ID should be different in order to see it in the D set. Otherwise you will not be able to see it. You can paste it anywhere. So these one with the hyphen are not going to be read in the D set. So has, if there's any variety, if you put any variety here, let's say edit this one here as it is. We can, you can give any name or ID here. So let's, give this name has mm. okay so this would be the name here so in this case this indicates the maturity group m group so remember in this case if you add anything new the limit should be within this range minimum and maximum right let's say if you want to going to add changes as 14.3 this file this would be acceptable otherwise there will be an error in your d set file when you are going to simulate it so i'm i have given the new name and one more thing that these decimals should be in line and where so you can see there the p line and ends here where there is a 78 so you have to maintain this one no problem if this is going to be merged with it like you can add zero here but now you can see this there will be error in your ad when you are going to run your simulation here so you have to be precisely this would be read in this folder so so let's say this is your endpoint these all should end in a single line p represents phenology these coefficient are not going to use for calibration the n represents g for growth n and so in this case we have 18 coefficients for soya bean let's save this file and go back to the d set let's update it one once again So let's open any experiment legumes for soya bean. Let's click on this one, edit. Just need to show you that 
we are going to refresh it once again management cultivars so now you will see your m group 7 so you can see here the 7 appear twice here so you can change this group to any other name it depends on you but for me i can identify easily that these sevens appear twice so one is my new one which i created and the one already originally available so it's better to change this name so press cancel here now we are going to move towards the sensitivity analysis so, so what do the sensitivity analysis let's click here on accessories so click on sensitivity analysis in sensitivity analysis ignore this if this appears on your wind screen so which experiment we are going to be used here let's click on soya bean so this one experiments let's say we are going to deal with cultivars you can see genetic coefficients cultivars first you have to select the experiment which you have used this so just select open ufga 7901 so you can see here and then select which experiment you have to want so i'm going to irrigate it and brag this is the variety and then properties of this experiment details what was the source you can see here now click on cultivar you will see let's see you want to run for the seven cultivar this one with this code click here genetic coefficient you will see the genetic coefficient here you can add it by changing only the specific cultivar coefficient value for example we want to look at the emphasis date to physical maturity day then what would what would be happen so let's say csdl that is critical stage day length so in case i, I would show you again d set i'm going to genotype click here the soybean code is sb so sbgr only open the remember only to deal with this file maximize this one so you can see here csdl critical short day length below which reproductive development progress with no day length effect hours it is in hours so just minimize it so we want to see the starting date is 12.33 in the case of the coefficient we used so we want to add m increment by one and how many how many iterations we want to see let's say we want to see five iterations so in this case if we have six total different dates available for different values for csdl so so this one let's say click on go so 12.33 starting value 13.33 so these six values will be created if you want to if you have already available x file and t file you can copy your experimental data click on it create experiment save it and then run model press ok go to analysis and let's say go to plant grow out plot So leaf area index for the different C CSDL critical stage length is as we have we want to see what effect critical short day length would make it. So these bold lines then means these are the recorded data available here. Click on next. 
so you can see that how these six treatment varies so some merges because these lines we cannot see here so it means your critical show day length would definitely going to make some changes if you are going to change it so that's a basic information about it hopefully you understand like the video so uh, in the same way we want to do some we have one more tool for it so which is in the term has the glue I'm going to explain it in the next video briefly about that. So I'm going to show you one more example for sensitivity analysis tool. So just go to accessories and click on sensitivity analysis tool. So, so there is a, your file will be open. So by, by what we have to do is that I, it, this tool allows us to easily very common in inputs to the model to test model sensitivity to different management inputs so let's start with the sensitivity analysis tool here i'm going to select the crop maze here let's select the maze here and this will show the, all the experiments available to you let's select irrigated and uh, a201 and then we are going to select irrigated high nitrogen okay then you are going to see then we have to click here this will tell you the all everything about the experiment its properties like which command which file you can see here this shows the our directory here now click on the cultivar which cultivar we are going to use let's say we are going to use here this three cultivars first let's say five cultivars so oh, I'm going to select the first five cultivars and then I'm going to see either you can play with the single genetic coefficient like let's say I have selected here P1 so I'm all I, I can also check for the P1 you can different P2 P5 P G2 G3 from where it comes it, de it it's developed according to the development stages of the maze so you can you can see and here you can also see it's McCarty which one is our template cultivar here but let's go to the this cultivar um, you can select has many cultivars just let's say we have selected five cultivars here click on go so these five cultivars will be will be tested against irrigated high nitrogen treatment uh, for this experiment we have to click on copy experimental data why we are going to select this because it will match our experimental data with this one for example we you have recorded the different you have a and t file for you which is we i have explained in one of the videos a file for average and t for time series file so this in this way what d set is telling us that d set is simulating for example yield and uh, let's say it's 2000 kg kilogram per hectare D set is simulating and what actual was like 2300 2500 or less than 1800 anywhere something so in this way we can match against these five like for the same experiment all the management practices for this treatment irrigated high nitrogen let's click on this if you don't have experiment data you cannot uh, you can select this but it will not show there but it's if you have your ANT file your experimental data with you then you can click here create experiment so it will save here okay click save now run model so your simulation will be completed click ok and then and then we have to go for analysis so let's say we can go overview overview So now you can see here this run one represents your one minimum uh, the the one we have selected uh, the cultivar which we have selected here so what it does is telling us that if you use this cultivar for everything remain the same like just planting date your whatever you have added in your management practices your field your soil your weather then what would be the difference it would gonna make so now you can see here our a file entity day measured was 75 and if we are going to use this cultivar 
then it gives us 37 and this is day the simulated one for the next variety we can see here so now the simulated are 114 and 75 so there is a difference so in this this difference can be moved by using the sensitivity analysis or by this term this is termed as a calibration of the model so and the other term we use is evaluating the model so calibration of the model means you have to remove you have to reduce the difference as you can see 68 75 and similarly you can all look all the factors yield at harvest maturity for this one is measured was 11,000 and this one is simulating is 7750 so whatever we have selected here you can go here select here just close this one and let's go to plant grow out we can plot it so you can see the board sections these are already measured if anything that is not measured let's post vegetative part it will it will not appear as a bold here so let's click on leaf area index for all the varieties for this particular treatment click on next so now you can see these dots are your actual measured data and this one is for different varieties if you use different varieties for the same management practices what would be the LAI this these lines showing the simulations so LAI for minimum for this variety for maximum for this variety, for sorry for this cultivar or variety whatever you want to say so now you can even print this statistic close this one even if you go again for plant grow out click on plant grow out you can also like look at all the other factors here like grain weight top weight let's check the top weight here select all runs click on next so in this way you can also go for the different parameters like different soils different planting options planting date depth population row spacing cultivar traits can be varied alternate soils and weather can also be selected but may not work consistently so one point to uh, remember here that fertilizer and irrigation sensitivity analysis is not yet available in that sensitivity tool so you cannot check it against the fertilizer and irrigation sensitivity so just close this one so so let's say i'm going to start it again i'm going to select the same experiment properties cultivar let's say select our any one cultivar which was we're going to see experiment source so in this way you can see it it used the mccardy this one so they have this one used the mccardy 84 and this one is giving showing you the fertilizer date so let's go to cultivar mccardy it already selected let's go to mccardy we will see here So here select this one which is already being used in the x file then it coefficient now let's pause i want to see the the different phenology parameters p1 or g2 this you have to go by one by one so already selected this template cultivar it if if you didn't select here you did go here it already selected the one which is already used so let's say you want to check it at different values let's say for the growth parameters g2 so you can see let's go to the our d set here and let's go to the maze file so this one was this experiment was let's see here again this one was ufg 8201 so I'm going to UFG A201 so this one is your experiment if you want to see which what genotype represents what factor let's go to M so this one MZ open this cultivar file so now you can see here that the P2 P5 what does it represents and how we have uh, what what are the minimum and maximum their ranges and these values should be in between the minimum and maximum range so let's go back to sensitivity analysis tool so 
generating coefficient g2 i'm going to check it for like five to seven values let's say i'm going to add one increment here and with the seven iterations click on go so it shows the eight total iterations starting from 1920 adding one one seven times it give you 927 create uh, copy experiment and data create experiment save it so you want to do ok now run the model simulations press ok view experiment so now you can see that what would be the difference here like in the overview file what genetic coefficients are changing how they are changing so you can see here 920 we have give, we have shown this one so let's go to the analysis and you can see here plant grow out so let's see at the top weight what does it affect the top weight the different iterations so you the more it will all there's there's a not a much a big difference so you will see the single line but you can see a green and different colors here let's close this one in the overview you can also see what in the overview file what you're going to see is that for the run one for g2 remaining all the all the other coefficients were the same we have only changed the g2 so we want to see that what would be the effect of g2 which represents here this represent here maximum possible number of kernels per plant so definitely it will is going to affect the top weight here so let's see so now you can see for p1 if we have changed the yield changes let's go for t g uh, the other value which selected 921 for g2 yes it makes a big difference here 11309 in the previous one it was 11298 so in this way you can see that if you don't want to go for the glue you don't want to run all your parameters and you can you have selected you have set all the parameters for example you are only having a giving a difference in the yield then you can play with it and you can get the different answers for it and then you can see okay so my this value is corresponding to this one 921 is a more better what you're going to do is go to your cultivar file and either you can create a new one just by copying it and pasting it near and you can or even you can simply write type it here one you have to file save the file then what you have to do is go to your d set first we have to close this one i hope this clears a lot about what how we can use the sensitivity analysis so similarly you can also go for experiment here click on experiment properties either you can run you can play with the planting date that which planting date plant population how plant population is going to affect my uh, uh, yield final yield or different factors and which one is giving me the best simulation the least difference between the simulation and the measured value you can also play with this one you can also play with the soil profile by growing the same by keeping the same management practices same cultivar into the different soil profile what would be your final results what would be the yield leaf area index and everything also you can check the same cultivar in the different weathers so the procedure is the same just by selecting different weathers you have to click go let's say i'm going selecting this one go and then again create experiment and then again you have to check your different parameters and right now i'm going to close this one so then after changing your uh, your coefficient here either you can create a new one for example let's copy this one copy this one so just to make uh, some space here i know which one is my new so you're either you are going to put uh, this explain this sign here 
in this case it will not read this one it's going to read the new one which I'm going to 9 to 1 which one is showing my the clauses the least difference between the simulated and the observed so measured values so let's talk about now we am going to save this file remember there's a the key factor is here whenever you make some changes go to file update all LST files click on here and then go to serial even you can change the name for this one let's say I'm changing then this unique ID code should be changed it should not match for example if you put here 36 and 36 is already present you will not able to see this McCarty here let's say I'm changing name here something to my this one MCCY let's keep the code because I have already put this mark here so this line is not going to be read by so even you can change here I'm going to put this code here I'm going to again save it go to dset click on update all lst files so click on maze go back to your experiment ufg8201 so click on edit and then from here you have to first click on refresh button this is the key sign this is the key point here that you have to click on refresh button then go to in management cultivars then this will appear here this already selected one but we have created one with the new name MCC let's see where it is we are able to find it or not yeah here it is you can see here this one is your new cultivar so in this way you are going to portray how you can create a new cultivar how you are going to use the sensitivity analysis tool in a more sensitive how you are going to select the different uh, so different weather effect for the all the uh, all the management practices for the same cultivar now I'm going to not to save this one so I hope I hope this video helps you how to use the sensitivity analysis tool in a more better way and you can work more if you have any questions please post your question in the comment section we will try to make some videos with your question and inquiries and we will try to if there is an error you can uh, you can post your question there we will try to answer your questions your inquiries your error so thank you so much for watching the video press the subscribe button for more informative videos